My name is Lakia Wilson. I'm the school counselor here at Spain. Good morning. I have been here 19 years. I love it here. I love the staff, I love the students and the families that we serve. I consider myself a fixture in this community and I want my building for these children. I want my babies to have the best. This is my daughter's first year here at Spain. I really love the teachers. I did not know that Detroit Public Schools was in such bad condition. I heard about something with mold that they have. I never saw their gym, um, so I didn't know, of course, that it was in such bad condition. So up until two months ago, our students were here playing in this gym, um, and then we were told we could no longer um, use this portion of the building, so it is now off limits to us. We're seeing damage from the roof where it's raining and snowing um, right inside of the school. And it's created these large um, humps in the floor, literally, where students were in here playing two months ago with the warped floor. I was being able to go to jail and that's not right. It's not right. How does that make you feel? Sad. And now they hate gym because they can't come in here and use any of the equipment. All they're limited to is walking the halls. Okay, this is our band room. Our band teacher was laid off about two years ago, and our room has been empty ever since. Our instruments are locked away and uniforms just hanging. A performing arts program with no performing arts teachers is an oxymoron. I don't know why when things go away within this district that they're not replaced. And it's just getting sad. Bring the easel up. Normally we have our reading lesson in the back, but because they did that $2 shoddy cover up on that pipe, I'm still scared to go back there. And I teach first grade and I don't have reading books. Now they don't bring books home you know, and everything is Xerox copy. They're little kids, they don't take great notes. So without books, it's a problem for the parents to help. We don't have any ink. So a lot of times I have to do this at home. It takes a lot of my preparation time and we only have two preps a week. And it's totally unfair. Our kids love to learn, they're eager to learn, and they deserve better. No one will take accountability for what's going on with this steam. There's steam coming up onto our playground, and the temperatures have reached 110 degrees. It's a snowstorm in Detroit, and the ground is burning. The students are very sad about not being able to go out to the playground. The fact that they are not able to properly burn off their energy as far as running around and just being free for a few minutes and coming back and getting back to academics. I blame the emergency manager, the governor, because there shouldn't be no reason why these schools should be falling apart like they are. The conditions that our students have to face every day coming to our school is unfortunate. This is the reality of it. Now you, you base this versus the schools in the suburbs, there's no comparison. Even though the governor and the legislators in Lansing are making laws against us, you have a right to deserve and demand better. So who taught us to fight for our equal rights? What are you Dr. Martin Luther King taught us that we should be treated how? We should be treated how all people are treated.